Hello and welcome to this video about setting up the barcode scanner plugin. If you haven't seen the video about using this plugin, the link is provided in the description. Let's get started. To enable the plugin, go to the settings menu and then plugin manager. Check the active checkbox next to the barcode plugin and also set the auto start option to after program starts. This way the plugin will immediately be ready to use after CNC graph has started. Once you've activated the plugin, you can now check its settings in plugin barcodes menu. There are a couple of options here. First is the files folder. The files folder points to a folder where files to be loaded are stored. So this is the place with all the files you want to be loaded by the plugin. Files extension is an extension that will be added to the red barcode value, so together they will form the whole file name. So for instance, if the barcode value is 1234 and the files extension is DXF, then the plugin will load 1234 DXF file located in the files folder. In this case, C, CNC, and so. This checkbox determines whether or not the small barcode window should be hidden after scanning. I recommend having it checked, but you are free to do any way you like. And the last setting is the watcher file path. This is a file that CNC graph is watching and CNC graph will load the file path that is written to this file. We just need to make sure that this function is enabled. It is a good chance that this is enabled, but let's check it anyway just to be sure. So in order to do so, let's go to help, about and copy the config directory. Now close the CNC graph and open explorer and go to this directory. Right click on a config XML and choose edit. Now click edit find and write auto file and find next. The setting will be found. We have a couple of settings here related to auto loading file by CNC graph. The most important one is to make sure that the ON setting is set to TRUE. And also that the auto text file is exactly the same as watcher file path that we set in the plugin. You can also set the file type to the STAR and other related settings to FALSE. Save this file and run the CNC graph again. Now the barcode icon will be shown and you are ready to go. And that's it! Now you can use the plugin just like I showed you in another video. As always, if you have any questions or suggestions on how to improve or change the plugin, Leave a comment or just open the plugin window and click on a header image to go to our website. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other videos.